This episode is brought to you by the all new 2012 Ford Focus. Hello, I'm Ellie and welcome to Rocket Boom Tech. This week we're taking a look at three artists who are working on the edge of art, design, and technology. First up is artist Marius Watts, who talks about turning code into art. What does generative mean to you, generative art? Generative art is basically um, taking a, an idea for a composition or a visual and ex sort of making it external to yourself in a form of a system. So in this case, a piece of software, so that the software is capable of generating images that evolve continuously without me actually intervening in the creation. So it's a form of sort of semi-autonomous creation using computer code. What is your uh, project that you're working on at the moment? I'm working on an exhibition. It's a piece that's an audio reactive software piece, so it's slightly self-running, but it's um, generating all these forms and shapes and colors in sort of coordination with the music, so you can see sort of the energy of the music coming through in the visuals. I'm really excited to be at this particular point in time and seeing how you know society is developing, um, and I think you know it's just going to get more complex and more interesting from here. A really big thing right now is um, the development of smartphones, which you know is a kind of an invasion of our you know of our bodies with these sort of computing devices because we think of them as phones, but really they're computers, and they're just going to get more and more powerful. More and more of the things that we now do on our laptops will happen on phones, and phones will always be with you. So it means that we're kind of extending our physical abilities with these huge data banks or computational devices that, that really do change how we interact with the world. You know, being able to overlay virtual information on top of physical space is really going to uh, have a major impact, I think. Our smartphones are not only extending our physical abilities, but also the abilities of our cars. Molly met up with Jason Johnson, Ford's user interface engineer, to find out how the My Ford Driver connectivity system in the new Ford Focus is simplifying tech on the road. It's the one-shot destination entry. So we, the system will understand up to 10,000 different commands at the first level. So I press the voice button and say destination street address, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, Washington. Calculates the route, then I'm on my way. Very simple and elegant to use. Next up is fashion designer Diana Ng, who's finding innovative ways to bring design and technology onto the runway. What was your first love, fashion or technology? Um, you know, I think my first love was actually technology. Um, I learned how to program with my dad when I was eight. So when did you decide to combine the two, the fashion and the technology aspects? I'm trying to bring fashion and technology more to the fashion side of things. And I think that um, when you kind of present uh, things from the fashion industry point of view, you'll really help people to see fashion and technology as a different sort of thing. Right now it's seen as kind of um, do-it-yourself and um, in a way kind of experimental and it's difficult for people to imagine themselves wearing the clothing. So I'm trying to kind of bridge the gap and hopefully people will be able to imagine themselves wearing the clothing and seeing it as a quality product. So this is um, the project from Fashion Geek and you can see uh, the plug is down here for your mp3 player um, and then conductive thread actually runs along the inside um, and the hood is up here so um, you basically put the hood on and you can listen to music. Just like new design and technology can make a bold fashion statement, Molly spoke with Ford's chief creative officer, Jay Mays, about how the web has impacted demands in automotive design for the all new Ford Focus. We're seeing a convergence of taste, and all of that has to do with a generation that is clearly wired up and on the internet talking to yes. each other. So they're not interested in a particular kind of design or a particular body style. They're just interested in the best design. And finally, I met up with Bree Pettis, CEO of MakerBot at their Bot Cave, to learn more about how his 3D printing machine has evolved over the last several years thanks to new engineering and design. What is a MakerBot exactly? What does it do? A MakerBot is a 3D printer, which means it's a machine that can make things a three-dimensional objects. And the way it works is it takes filament and it pulls it up into an extruder, heats it up to about 220 degrees Celsius, so it's melty, kind of like a hot glue gun, and then it squirts it out and draws a picture with it. Then it lifts up a little bit, draws another picture in molten plastic, and layer by layer, your object emerges. And then when it's all done, you have a 3D object. As far as design and engineering kind of go hand in hand, how has this changed and developed uh, since you first started it? Uh, you know, when we first started, having a 3D printer was something really pretty obscure 
and you could only really have one if you were an elite institution. But now there's, you know, we've got like 2,300 of these things in the wild right now. And so now when you want to design something, instead of being, you know, designing something and then waiting two weeks for a prototype, you can just design something, print it out, and be like, oh yeah, I want to make these years longer. And then you just make the change, print out another one. So it really takes the, the design process and just puts it into overdrive. As we've heard from creators and innovators, new technology is inspiring many to think and design differently across various fields, from art and fashion to robotics in the automotive industry. If you'd like to hear more from the artists I spoke with in this episode, you can visit youtube.com slash rocketboomtech. And to get the full interviews with Molly at the Paris Auto Show about the all-new Ford Focus, you can head over to facebook.com slash Ford Focus. I'm Ellie Rowtree, and this has been Rocketboom Tech.